Project Eden is a 2001 action-adventure video game developed by Core Design and published by Eidos Interactive. It was released for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 2. A Dreamcast version was planned but cancelled. The plot sees a squad of four law enforcement agents investigating disappearances by working their way downwards through layers of a towering mega-city. Gameplay emphasizes puzzle solving, requiring the players to control each of the four characters and use their individual abilities to progress. A single player can control any of the characters and jump between them at will, up to four players can play simultaneously, taking control of team members. Plot <inaudible> 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 The game starts with Urban Protection Agency agents Carter, Andre, Minoko and Amber heading below city limits to find two technicians missing from the Real Meat Company a corporation that ironically produces synthetic meat. The suspicions of the team revolve around a local and dangerous gang named the Death Heads. The UPA team tracks the gang down to their base in St. Lucia's Church, but on their way, the gang members and many animals also start mutating into strange creatures. Clearing their way through the church, battling the mutants, the UPA team finally get close to the technicians, only to see them being taken far below city limits, possibly to ground zero the term used for the ground level of the earth itself. The UPA control instructs the UPA team to recover a creature, a live one, for analysis, which shows that it has been a regular dog which had been tampered with using an old gene splicer this hints at the fact that genetic technology has advanced greatly. The analysis also reveals that the creatures they have been attacked by are being controlled by a signal, which is their next job, to both find and if possible, recover the technicians, and locate the source of the signal. On their way, the UPA team start to encounter little girls who are blonde and dressed in a red dress that go by the name of Lucy, who talk about irrelevant things before mutating into dangerous creatures themselves. Minoko, while going to another sector of the city by a high-speed railcar, mentions that she once had a sister named Lucy, but that Lucy had died due to a genetic illness she and their mother suffered from. As they continue, the team starts to question if Minoko's family was involved in their situation. The train crashes before reaching its destination, and leaves Minoko trapped in by a group known as cannibals. Upon their arrival, Carter asks Control to check out Minoko's father, Dr. Joseph Molensky, who was once a skilled technician and a biological engineer, and who was kicked out of real meat due to his act of stealing machinery to help his own mysterious research. As a fugitive, Molensky was never acquired by UPA, nor was Lucy. Minoko was taken to the UPA recreation program, and thus became a UPA agent. Clearing out an old zoo, which is filled with cannibals along with mutants due to their railcar accident, the team arrive at ground zero. However, since what they are looking for is further down, the team advances to the underground levels, below sea level. During their investigation, they stumble upon a video of Dr. Molensky, saying that he has found a nuclear bunker underneath, and has also rigged up a basic gene splicer. He also mentions that using it, he hopes to cure Lucy finally. The UPA team enter the Eden Bunker, and upon their entrance, they discover that Dr. Molensky was trapped in a time dilation field, a field that which stops time around a given area, or slows it down immensely, similar as employed in a weapon the team uses, called the Time Shock. Molensky is seemingly reaching out to a computer. Upon dwelling deeper and deactivating the time dilation field, Minoko is kidnapped. Lucy tells Minoko that she has been creating the creatures, and the girls that mutated in attempt to find a new body for herself were her failures due to the different DNA of those girl victims that were too much to deal with. Since Minoko is her biological sister, Lucy wishes to take her body. Meanwhile, Molensky is told that 15 years have passed, and asked what has happened. The answer is simple, in order to keep Lucy alive, Molensky had linked her mind to the computers, running half of her brain with them, while keeping her body in a time dilation field. However, since the computers were networked, Lucy took over them, and tried to solve things her way. The other three UPA team members rescue Minoko, and they deactivate Lucy's time dilation field, causing her death. Molensky removes the computer connected to Luce's head and inserts it into a robot body he has built for her to try to keep her brain alive. The UPA team in the end return to the surface. Topic: Critical reception. Project Eden received mixed to positive reviews from critics. 
Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 2 version 75.48% and 71 one hundredths and the PC version 73.54% and 72 one hundredths. IGN ranked it as the 87th best PlayStation 2 game.